This blend of spices called Reshad or Reshado Masala is a Goan classic. Hi, and you're watching Plating It with Wendy, where I share with you recipes which impress with ease. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a like, share, and comment. And if you enjoy trying out recipes that turn out right every time, then go ahead, press that subscribe button. And while you're at it, if you hit the bell icon, you'll be the first to get notified every time I upload a new video. Now, let's get started. For this recipe, we're going to go in with 30 Kashmiri chilies. And I like using Kashmiri chilies because they're that lovely color and are not too spicy. And now we're going to take 15 of the chilies and de-seed them. Just going to snip off the top and shake out the seeds. Now you can always adjust the number of chilies that you want to take the seeds out of, depending upon the level of spice that you enjoy. Now we're going to add the chilies into the jar of the mixer. And I'm just going to chop them up into smaller bits so that they fit in well. And now to that, let's add two teaspoons of cumin seeds, one teaspoon of peppercorns, 20 cloves, one four-inch stick of cinnamon. I'm just going to break that up and add it in. And to that, we're going to add two teaspoons of turmeric powder. And now to add just a bit of sweetness to the masala, we're going to add one and a half teaspoon of sugar. And we're going to season it with half a teaspoon of salt. And you can always add the sugar and salt to taste. So that we get a nice smooth paste to our reshado masala, I always like to grind my dry ingredients first. And now that the dry ingredients are well blended, let's add in the wet. And now to add some earthy flavors to the reshad masala, we're going to add 15 garlic cloves. But since the garlic cloves that I'm adding in are rather large, I'm going in with just 12. And I always like to chop them up into smaller bits before adding them in. If the garlic cloves that you're adding in are small, you could just toss them in without chopping them. And now let's toss them into the jar. And I've also chopped a two inch piece of ginger and we're going to add that in as well. Now to blend this all together, we're going to go in with approximately one and a quarter cup of red wine vinegar. But if you have the Goa vinegar, that would be best. So we're going to add one cup first and then we can add more later as we need it. So let's blend this and bring our reshad masala together. I think I'm going to go in with a little bit more of the vinegar. An important point to remember when you're grinding reshado masala is not to add any water. The only liquid that you're going to add in is vinegar. And there, our reshado masala is ready. So smooth and full of flavor. Look at that. And once the reshado masala is ready, you can either use it right away or you can bottle it up, refrigerate it and use it whenever you require. Now this reshad masala can be used to stuff pomfrets, mackerels, make a quick shrimp chili fry, or even stuff squids. So if you want to make this reshad masala, hop onto my website, platingitwithwendy.com, where you will find the full written recipe. Thanks for watching. See you soon.